Welcome to this four part series with Mr. Long Teacher Tips where we're going to spend four videos discussing how we can develop a very nice workable workbook for your marks for your students. Um, we're going to do it over four videos. This video is going to be talking about the layout. The other two, the other three videos will be about the calculations, the summaries and the features that you can add to your workbook. So we're going to build this workbook over the next four videos. So the first video is we just basically set it up everything for our workbook, getting the layout nice so that we can um, add the formulas to it later. So the first thing is obviously you need to have your names of your students. So yeah, I've got a workbook. Um, I've put the, the names not right at the top. I've given a little bit of a gap at the top because we want some nice details at the top. Now, the reason why I've put these details in the second column is because this is going to be the numbers that I'm going to put. I, I like having numbers next to it. And you can put one, two, three, and you can just select that and just double click there to make it copy all the way to the bottom. And then I'm going to make that a bit smaller. So I'm going to do that. So there that doesn't get affected by us making that first row smaller. Okay, so there we go. <clears throat> so we got a nice little layout. I want to make the, the surnames a bit bigger, the names a bit bigger. You can play around with that. Okay, so there's what our first setup. You can obviously have your school, your, your teacher name, your subject, your grade. Maybe you're doing this for other classes. I would suggest before we even start getting into the marks that you actually have other categories over here maybe you've got a class or a grouping for a particular class so maybe you've got students from multiple classes in one workbook i like to do this so that i can put them all in one workbook and then i can just sort them according to the class um, and maybe there's further there's a grouping maybe you had two different groupings um, uh, it's up to you. You can have as many different criteria as you go across here if, as you want. So there's my details about my students, which I'll add in later at a later time um, for details about them. So there I've gone and populated those little details. So different classes, different groupings. It's up to you how you want to do that. So there's the details of the students that we've got. Now we're going to start setting up for an assessment. I'm going to do one assessment so you can see what it looks like. And then you can repeat that uh, multiple times for however many assessments that you need. So this is what I recommend. So this is obviously our header row over here. So I like to have a little gap here in case I want to add more stuff here later on. But I'm going to start over here. So over here, let's say we've got an assessment and it's out of 50 marks. I'm going to put a 50 there and I'm going to put a percentage sign over here for because that will be the percentage. I like to have the mark out of 50 and what that percentage value is. So I'm going to do that like that. So there we go. Next over here, just so people know what it is, I'm going to say this is the total. You can use capital letters or whatever you want. Total and this is percent. And then above here, I'm going to put the name of the assessment. So I'm going to say name and you can over here say this. This is a test on, let's say we do in math. So this is the algebra assessment. So that's algebra one, maybe. Maybe we want algebra one. Okay, so you can obviously change this over time for whatever the assessment is. And then this is the key part. A lot of people don't always know about this part is I add a little weight in at the top here. And the reason for that is because if you've got multiple assessments and you want to work out a final mark, obviously all these different assessments have a particular weighting. So that's where I'll put the weighting. So let's say this particular assessment is a 25% weighting. So I'm just going to put a 25 there for the weighting. And then I combine these two. I'm going to merge them. And then here is where I can call it assessment one. Assessment one or whatever like that. So there we go. And you can make this a bit smaller you can edit with the details but there's the basic layout of that little block which i'm going to just put like a little black block around so you can see so that's the heading um, i like to put everything centered so i'm going to make them all centered so that it looks like that and then here is where we will put the mark and we will do in our next video the calculations and the calculation here will be for the percentage of how to work out the percentages for that so that's technically this over here is going to be the block for where we put that assessment now once you've got that all nicely set up all you have to do is then copy this and then you can paste it over here and you've got everything again and now you can change it you can say okay well this is assessment two and this is our geometry assessment uh, and this is the geometry uh, I spelled geometry wrong geometry assessment you can obviously make your columns a bit bigger if you want um, this one is weighted out of 15% and this test was out of 45. So you get the idea. So you can basically build your assessment like that. So you can have multiple assessments and you add them all along like that. So I'm going to go ahead and just add a couple more so you can see what it looks like. 
So I add a couple more assessments. Now the last one I'm going to do slightly differently. It's up to you if you want to do all the assessments like this or if you want to do it the way that I'm going to show you. Yeah, sometimes you got, for example, an exam, quite a big assessment, which has lots of little different sections. And I want to keep track of what the students got for each section. So especially with exams, you know, for question one, that all the students got this on average. So you can see which questions the students are doing very well in, which they aren't and so on. They can see their breakdown of their marks. If you want to do something like that, then what you could do is something like this. So I'm still going to copy everything. Like let's say that I've got assessment five, but there are four sections to assessment five. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to leave out four blocks and I'm going to paste the assessment five here. And so I'm going to say this is assessment five and this one's going to count 30% or 30. And this is uh, got a hundred marks or whatever. We'll come back to it. And then over here, you can actually combine all of this. We're going to merge all of this together because it's one big assessment. And then we can say over here, well, this is question one, and this is question two, and this is question three, and this is question four. Okay, we can actually put that a little bit lower if we want to. We can do that, and we can write what those questions are out. So this is also algebra. This was the geo geometry question. This was the um, linear programming problem. And this was the trick question. So let's say we've got a little assessment like that. And then over here, you can, you can, if you need more space, you can also merge those. Those are not bad ones to merge, and you can center them both up and down. So we can merge all of these so that you've got more space to write, because obviously those will need more space. And you select them all, and we make sure that they're all centered and they're all centered horizontally as well as vertically and then over here i'll put the mark for whatever those assessments i'm not going to do the the percentages for each one but in this case i'll just okay so this this one was out of a this question was out of 10 this one was out of 20 this one was out of 23 and this one was out of 7 17 or something like that and then you've got your little assessments over there okay i'm not going to work out what it's total we can do that later so you can do something like this and now that's how you can break down that particular assessment and we can group that all together. So this is where we will put the assessment marks. In this case, with these assessments, we just put the final mark and it'll work out the percentage automatically. That's what I want. And for this type of assessment, where I've got the breakdown of each question of the assessment, I can put the mark in there and then all of this will be done automatically. That's, that's the idea that I have in place for this type of assessment. Obviously, you can do all your assessments like this or you can do multiple ones. Maybe I know in my one scenario, I have one little assessment like this and then two exams in a term so i do one of those and then two of these that break down each of the examination marks down so you can do something like that let's just put a little block over here so we're using these little blocks boom there we go now on the end over here we will obviously have our final mark now you can do a sheet for each term if you want something like that uh, maybe you want to do the whole year and break down here by year you can do that as well but you can have some sort of final like final mark so I'm going to copy this and paste this over here and this will be the final mark that we put in so obviously this is just the final mark for the term or for the year or whatever you want um, ideally you want it out of 100 and what the percentage is maybe it's a mark out of 300 you can have that um, and then yeah these are all things you don't really need for that so just to make it all look nice and fancy you can obviously merge all those cells and make it nice and aligned and make it really big tick so you can see this is the final mark there we go so you can do something like that so that's the basic layout so you've got an idea you can go ahead and prepare your particular spreadsheet with your assessments and your weighting so you can try to do that um, and then what I try to do in between this, I'm going to show you now how to just make it look a little bit pretty. I'll do one so you can see what it looks like and then I'll apply it to all of them so let's have a look um, first of all is if you want to print and I don't want to print the grid lines what I'm actually going to do now if you watch it carefully I know I've put a black uh, a box around these but I actually want to first put all of the borders in this block and then I'm going to put a black block around it so that it looks like that so when I print it will, it'll print those lines I don't want to print these lines so I'm going to do the exact same over here I'm going to make all of them and then the top all of it will be in a black border a thick outside black border and then a thick outside black border for the top and then you can do things like I'm gonna make that bold and give that not I want to change the background color to like a gray just to highlight that and then for my assessments you can obviously highlight make them all bold and stuff like that um, I like to make my assessments all different colors so I like to use these colors that are layered out over here you could 
go according to this if you want to then um, do that type of thing and then we're going to use the next level of colors over here I'll do like you can do something funky like this and just go down this particular way and just add different colors I think we're there yes and then last one we will add that one and that and you can obviously change the color if it's not bright enough you can obviously change the text to white to see it so I've gone ahead and just formatted it it's quite nasty I've done all those all borders and then just the black border around it and I've added some nice colors to it I'll probably just make all those bold as well just to make it consistent or oh, not that not that Mr. Long bolded there we go so it's all consistent across the board over here I merged those cells together and then did that over there and there you can see the nice little layout and if I move across you can see I made all that black with a white text so there we go it's so nicely laid out that should be how you set up your your mark book and in the next video we're going to start adding formulas to this so that it can work out the percentages automatically um, work out the final mark according to the weightings appropriately and all of those i will add this spreadsheet to a uh, there'll be a link in the comments the way you can uh, in the description where you can download this and see it but it's obviously you need to design it according to what you need for your particular subject and your assessments um, we're also going to add some summaries at the bottom at some stage as well that'll also be a video where we do that so Go to our next video where we will watch, do, we'll watch how to do the calculations. Check out the other videos in this video series so that you can complete your mark book. And remember, go to our YouTube channel, click on that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long Way.